So we have defined two quantities for you, average speed and average velocity. Now let us say that your friend lives 20 kilometers away from you and you took some path, yeah, that the path length was about 20 kilometers and then you traveled it in one hour. So then what's going to be your average speed? The distance you covered was 20 kilometers in all that big path and the time you took was one hour. So what's your average speed? 20 kilometers per hour. So does that mean that throughout your journey you were traveling at 20 kilometers per hour consistently? Not really, right? Your speedometer, if you're going in a bike or car, would have kept showing you different quantities. You would have stopped at a signal, it would have been zero for a while, you would have gone really fast for a while. So it brings in the idea about what your speedometer really shows. Does it show you your average speed? It kind of shows you at what speed you're going at that moment. And to calculate that is a little more complex than to calculate your average speed. Because average speed is quite easy. How far? How long? How far by? How long? Done. Instantaneous velocity or instantaneous speed? Very similar, except that the how far and the how long are going to become very, very, very small. How far did you travel in? This small amount of time. So more on this, if you're really curious, go and find out. It's called instantaneous speed. And that's what your speedometer shows you. Now, what about velocity? Right? Irrespective of what path you took, if between you and your friend's house, the straight line path is only 15 kilometers. You took a path that was 20 kilometers, but the straight line is only 15. Then what's your average velocity? 15 kilometers per hour, right? Your average speed is 20 kilometers per hour, but your average velocity was 15 kilometers per hour. Now the question is, can the average speed ever be lower than your average velocity? It's like asking, can the distance ever be lower than your displacement? Of course, if you're going between two points, the distance is going to be greater than or equal to your displacement. Therefore, your average speed must be greater than or equal to your average velocity, right? Now, with this in mind, and with also the idea about instantaneous velocity, we're ready to talk about our next concept, which is really about going... So we have a word here, right? Fast. So what do we mean by somebody going fast? His velocity or his, or his speed is quite high. So, but we do know something about going faster and faster and faster, or slower and slower and slower and stopping. So we're going to talk about that next. When we ask the question, can I go faster or slower? And we'll do that. To keep learning with such engaging videos, download Baiju's, the learning app today.